live on the North Shore, you've been uh, through a, a nice bout of some strong to severe weather. That is now moving southward. You can see the skies behind me right around the dome are cloudy and gray. Right to our radar imagery. We'll get right to it. And as you can see, this line continues pushing southward. There it is right there. Looks like the heaviest rain now is to our west. That's not to say we don't have some in and around the viewing area right around, uh, say, just east of Slidell. We're looking at some of that. Uh, heavy rainfall, some thunder and lightning associated with all this rain, uh, gusty winds. Well, I'll show you a couple of storm reports. So in Metairie, right where Causeway crosses Interstate 10, you've got a little bullseye there. Even around the city, as you can see near the Pontchartrain Expressway, that's close to the station here, we're getting some uh, light to moderate rainfall, even right around. Uh, say the uh, Irish uh, Channel area. At one point, we were getting over two inches of rainfall per hour, and those typically, uh, those low lying areas that typically collect the water under heavy rainfall, you might be experiencing that right now. Looks like we're starting to clear out in and around the Kenner area, but as we push, push further westward, Norco, you could see some rain. Laplace, not necessarily getting any rainfall, but down closer near Luling, almost five inches of rain per hour. Again, that'll cause some ponding on the roadways if you live around spots that tend to flood under heavy rainfall. South of Bugalusa, we're seeing some rain. Also here right around Shoreline Park and just to the north of Interstate 10 there in South Mississippi. So this is going to be a strong storm that's going to continue pushing to the southwest, south of Purlington, seeing some more of that heavy rainfall. Here are the storm reports on the north shore around the Hammond area. Uh, the airport there reported a 60-mile-per-hour wind gust. Also, uh, some trees blown down right around Folsom. So definitely some strong weather pushing through. Also a heat advisory, which is pretty much going to go away soon here because of the rain cooled air. And here's what I'm talking about. Mid to upper 70s on the North Shore. Bogalusa rebounding a little bit after dropping to the upper 70s. 77 at the airport in Kenner. Homa, no rain, 95 degrees, and that's where you're going to find some sticky conditions right now. Still feels like 103 in Homa. And it feels like 103 in Boothville as well. This front is going to continue sagging southward. Take a look. Here's what the model says. It's going to continue pushing all the way to the Gulf of Mexico by tomorrow morning and limit our rain to right around the coastal areas. So that's good news. We'll see how that plays out. As we continue ahead in time, you could see overnight Saturday into Sunday, that front stays in the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to hold on to a 30% chance of rain this evening, mid to upper 70s for lows, heavy rain, wind, lightning, all a possibility. Most of the rain will end at least by midnight, 30% chance of rain tomorrow. I'm not expecting too much wind, but heavy rain still a possibility. And I think if we get the rain, it's going to be mainly focused on the south shore near the Gulf. Temperatures going to be hot right around the mid 90s. Going to go with less rain over the weekend. Even though the model says no rain, I'm going to keep a 20% chance of rain through Sunday. Hot on Saturday, but not quite as hot on Sunday, about 93 as a slightly cooler and not as hot air mass moves over the area. Back to you. All right.